I'm when do I mom when do I have to start? हंसते रहें आप करोड़ों के बीच खेलते रहें आप लाखों के बीच रोशन रहें आप हजारों के बीच जैसे रहता है सूरज आसमान के बीच नमस्ते आदाब शास्त्रीय काल टू ऑल द व्यूअर्स प्रेजेंट दिस इज ईशा भंडारी वेलकमिंग यू ऑल इन दिस वर्चुअल वर्ल्ड for a special day today is a big day for us and the university as we celebrate the 60th birthday of our beloved honorable vice chancellor professor prabhat ranjan sir to mark and celebrate this auspicious day dy patel international university akudi has organized a one week program through various social media platforms a smiling face a cheerful personality and a simple human being you encompass all these qualities sir on behalf of dy patel international university akudi i wholeheartedly appreciate your helpful and motivating leadership sir we are honored to have such an excellent leader who has shown us the path of compassion and empathy once again on behalf of entire dypiu i wish you a very happy birthday it is my extreme pleasure to interact with sir and mark the beginning of this one way week long event i take this opportunity to walk with you through the first part of your honor of our honorable vice chancellor sir's phenomenal journey from his school days at netarhat which is now in jharkhand to his iit kharagpur days namaskar no, thank you sir thank you sir yes sir so sir most of your life has been dedicated to research i am intrigued to know when did you decide to make research in physics as your destiny so i went to netrat school at the age of 10 when netrat school at the age of 10 there the echo coming from one of the my the visa from yours so i went to netrat school which is a gurukul style ashram we to live in ashram gurukul style school at age of 10 uh i remember at that time my elder brother vijay prakash ji was also in the same school he was 3 years senior to me <clears throat> he was organizing a science day event in the memory of Mr. Ramanujam, the math genius, and he said that if I could speak about him in that particular event, that was my first event when I talked about Ramanujam. I was very scared <clears throat> to speak. Then somewhere down the line, it started to impact me that I should also go into research. And I think maybe at the age of twelve or thirteen, I wanted to go into research. and i always focused on that i did not change my mind like many times you see that the students think of something and they keep telling their mind every one year two year or even every day but i remained focused on that and uh, i decided to to do that and i came into the scientific research Okay, sir. Were you always interested in research? So, 
once I used to like doing experiments in the school. And uh, I remember that sometime back there was a, we had an event, a drama kind of thing. I was asked to manage all the electrical things. And uh, that time it was some kind of vacation and the right, uh, maybe three, four day holiday. And right after that, we had our event of my classmates on drama. And I found that the projector slide, there used to be slide projector. I was to handle that. I found it was not working. And we had no equipment. So I did all kinds of things, which meant that in the ashram that I used to stay, uh, there was a, the projector had a, the wire was shorting. I had no equipment to do anything. So I used to connect the projector and uh, the fuse would blow. So then I cut the projector cable into two parts, the wire, the electrical cable connected one part and then the other part figured out which one was shorting and slowly I got it to work. So I always had this knack of finding ways of solving problems and that has continued till now. And uh, then I got interested in particle physics research and uh, I wanted to get into particle physics and that time particle physics was very well known area of research. But slowly as we we'll go along, my journey will find that I change my fields. Uh, but I stuck to my research thing. And uh, I remember I was doing, uh, we had to give National Science Talent Search Examination. And I did a very good project at that time, considering my age. So I continued to do that. I continued to uh, give lectures to students in the school. I remember giving one particular event I would like to uh, recollect. I had organized an event on elementary particle. And there were, uh, it was a lecture theater, maybe of uh, 60 students. Uh, it was evening time. And we were on a, you know, our school was in a hilly area. So some parts of the windows were close to the ground. And uh, so when the students were sitting, and I started giving my talk, which was a very interesting device called epidoscope. Now this I'm talking of 1970s, where actually you could put uh, a book or something or a hard copy and it will project it on the screen. We didn't have all these cameras and projectors at that time, but the epidoscope in the 70s my school had, that was quite surprising. And uh, once I started giving talk, very quickly I found many students are jumping out of the window and running away from there. But that did not deter me. So I continued my scientific pursuit. Uh, and knowing that it may not be very popular among other people. And since then, I continued, you know, I went by the correct food, Delhi University, University of California, Berkeley. And of course, uh, all that we will be talking about. So I did have that inclination in the research, and I stuck to that. I did not change my mind. That's great, sir. एक बचपन का जमाना था जिसमें खुशियों का खजाना था चाहत चांद को पाने की थी पर दिल तितली का दीवाना था खबर ना थी कुछ सुबह की न शाम का ठिकाना था थक कर आना स्कूल से पर खेलने भी जाना था माँ की कहानी थी परियों का फसाना था बारिश में कागज की नदी थी हर मौसम सुहाना था रोने की वजह ना थी हंसने का बहाना था क्यों हो गए हम इतने बड़े इससे अच्छा तो वो बचपन का जमाना था हमारा बचपन तो कुछ ऐसा था सर कुड यू शेयर अ मेमोरी फ्रॉम योर चाइल्डहुड से बिफोर यू टर्न फाइव या सो ऑफ कोर्स दैट यंग एज आई डोंट हैव लॉट ऑफ मेमोरीज बट रिमेंबर माय फादर वाज पोस्टेड इन अ प्लेस कॉल्ड बेतिया व्हिच इज एन एरिया चंपारण एरिया चंपारण एरिया मेनी पीपल नो वेयर महात्मा गांधी स्टार्टेड हिज नॉन कोऑपरेशन मूवमेंट एंड I was put into school in class one uh, in a municipal school, which was like a hut. It was a jhopri, and it was very close to my house. My father would walk me down, cross the road, put me in. That was just one room. So all the classes that were running were in that one room. So I was started my studies there, and uh, I used to complain a little bit about that school. But my father told me that its name is, I think, Prince of. Wells School. My elder brother probably would correct me, and uh, so I was satisfied. I remember one particular incident at that time. The two incidents, in fact, I was 
living in the in a house which had a, a terrace and i was eating roti when a monkey came and 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 stashed that roti away from me uh, the other incident i remember that i have not gone to school i don't remember what it was some kind of festival or something and probably i talked in the class some exam must have been there and then again uh, all of these are my memories that i may not uh, remember correctly i remember a professor from school came to my house and to congratulate me in in uh, that particular uh, in coming first in the school and uh, so i don't have too much memory of of uh, uh, more than that uh, i remember my father was uh, at that time judicial magistrate and there was a jail nearby and there was a big uh, you know uh, kitchen garden you can say it's a little bit bigger than kitchen garden that was there uh, that's that's probably all that i remember from those days uh, below five maybe my brothers elder brothers especially might remember few more you were the blender she might remember few more things uh, then i moved to another town called nawada which is at that time it used to be in a district called gaya gaya is well known nawada at that time was not a district now it is a, a district by itself there again i was studying in a municipal school and uh, to to tell you the first school that i went to also as i said it was hard there was nothing to sit on you had to sit on the ground the second school that i went to in nawada from class 2 onwards again there was nothing to sit on either you bring a little mat for yourself or you could sit on the ground and the first child who comes to the school or the classroom had to clean the the thing you had to broom the things and clear the thing it was actually a teachers training school it was called abhyas madhyamik vidyalaya and so till class 5 i had no chairs to sit on but that was perfectly fine learning was more important than the comfort and till this time i have uh, been uh, working and promoting on dignity of labor and uh, as we will go along the school i went to also uh, you know increase uh, that uh, uh, respect for labor and the lockdown period that we have today everybody has realized that working with hand is very important when suddenly there was no help you had to do everything on your own i had absolutely no problem in that because i am used to doing all the things whether it's cooking cleaning everything uh, i can do myself uh, without any help so that these lessons i learned from the school age childhood uh, there's one more thing i would recollect was that i was very shy to to speak and uh, probably my elder brother was telling again uh, correct me i would not be studying i would watch him uh, with a teacher and as the teacher was teaching him i'll probably learn from that and so i was very lazy in writing i would not write uh, i would not speak so my mother used to be very worried about what this child is going to do is he going to do anything at all in the future or his future is dark because he never speaks no writes the only thing i used to do is to read books and most of the time in the exams of their next day i'll be reading a story books in spite of all that i used to come either first and second in nawada there was a friend of mine classmate of mine who used to stay uh, across the road uh and uh, his name was Nisar Ahmed and uh, sometimes he would come first sometimes uh, i would come first but i was never bothered about preparing for exam and so on i would just read the story books not not at all be bothered so so i was not at all you know uh, hard working in that sense you can say that uh, i was very shy as well so of course uh, as we go along things change and i learned to speak as i am speaking to you Is taking time to come to the screen. Uh, we are all stuck at you know, different bandwidth level, uh, at different places. So we're just working within that limit. Yes, exactly. Go ahead. Mike is mute. Yeah, unmuted mic, please, please. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing your experience. Now, I would like to invite 
Pajit Dutt, worked, who has worked with Honorable Vice Chancellor Sir Aha Institute of Nuclear Research, presenting Professor Pratt, Computer Science and Electrical Hi. Engineering, University of Maryland, Baltimore Country, County, USA. Hi, Prabhat. Um, uh, happy birthday. Uh, happy Thank 60th you. birthday. I just had mine a few days back uh, in the pandemic. So so my wife uh, did plan to do a lot of stuff, but could not. Um, uh, so um, this is a great way that, you know, they have organized this for you and I'm very happy for you. So let me Thank tell you. you a little bit about Pravat and, you know, um, about our time. Uh, I met Pravat when I was a student um, at Shah Institute of Nuclear Physics and he joined as a junior faculty. Um, that was, I believe, in 1986. Um, right. right? Uh, yeah, that's when you came in. And um, uh, we became very good friends very quickly. Uh, there were some, uh, some reasons for that. One reason was that, you know, I, I had lived in Bihar for a long time, so I could and speak Hindi very well, and Prabhat could speak Bengali. So there were there are um, there are a lot of similarities. So we became very good friends, and from then, I, although he was like a faculty and I was a student, but, but since we are of same age, as I said, that there was really no difference. We kind of treated each other very respectfully, and and um, since then. Um, we have always kept in touch, and which is kind of surprising, because Prabhat helped me with my career and to what to do. Like you know, told me that hey, you can uh, you can uh, like you know get into computers, and I was I got interested and I started and I came to US and you know studied computer science and worked later on got a PhD. But throughout this time, whenever I needed any help, I had some question. I knew that I, I could always reach out to Prabhat and ask for help. I mean, it may be that, you know, we did not talk all the time. It, it may be years that, you know, we never spoke. But the, but the good thing about, about our relationship is that if I just call him, we will just feel that we just spoke yesterday. And I think, Prabhat, you probably feel the same way, right? Sure. And, and, you know, as I said, I consider Prabhat to be one of my best friends. And um, I hope you do the same. And, um, and uh, we have always been in touch. And a few years back, uh, we got to um, meet in person because uh, Prabhat's daughter Juhi was uh, in graduate school. So Prabhat came to visit her and I was, uh, I was close by. So we got together, which was, uh, which was excellent. And... There are a couple of other things I would like to um, uh, share about Prabhat, like, you know, what I observed. Like, immediately after I met him, you know, within a few months, I could figure out that, that you know, he will do a lot of things uh, in his life. Uh, or in other words, we can say, Wo bahut do jayega. like, you know, that's what I thought. And this kind of have come true. Now he is the vice chancellor of university. But that is not the most important part. The most important part is that Prabhat always had that ability to figure out that, you know, what is needed and go and learn about it and do it, even if he has no idea about it. And I really saw that firsthand um, in, in our institute that uh, uh, that you know we had to do some uh, data uh, um, uh, acquisition system for i think that's what we called it at that time yeah, um, uh, yeah, yeah uh, for the, for you know uh, for you know measuring plasma parameters and he really didn't know much about it but within two or three weeks he learned and he became an expert and he designed the system and that's what i kind of looked at it, him that, you know, like, uh, it's not that he's always sitting down and doing big math or anything, but, but, you know, his main goal was that, okay, this needs to happen and I'm, I'm, I'm going to solve it. And that is what really, really, um, I really appreciated that, that really 
made me as uh, like a fan of Prabhat. And other than that, I will say that he is very humble. Like, you know, I mean, uh, he is uh, very nice and you can be friends with. I mean, I have met other very smart people in my life, obviously. Um, but Prabhat does not have uh, in him that, you know, that, hey, you know, I'm smart, be nice to me or anything like that. He's just like one of us. And, and you know, I, and I have always been like, you know, uh, the, been, I, I consider myself fortunate that I have a friend like Prabhat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Abhijit. Thank you for coming. Thanks. Thank you. Unmute. Chancellor, sir. He is a retired IAS officer and presently the chairman of Bihar Vidya Beat, Patna, and president of Association for, Pro for Promotion of Creative Learning, Patna. Uh, good evening. And, and uh, very, very happy birthday to Prabhat Ranjan. Uh, it's nice that you have Thank organized, you. Uh, the university has organized such a beautiful meet of all people. And uh, when we see this long journey, uh, it's very difficult to sum up the long journey of Prabhat Ranjan in a short span of, uh, in, a Facebook, in a live Facebook uh, session. However, there are many nice things we could remember right from his childhood. When I now recall on this eve of his uh, 60 years of journey, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I have many things come to my memory. He was, a, uh, he was born in a very uh, different circumstances. I would like to say that also. And uh, that will probably say a lot of things about the value system of that time. When my uh, mother was, uh, he was uh, pregnant and she was to deliver and Pravatranjan was to, to born, uh, there was a marriage in my family. And uh, everybody, including my father, because his uh, sister was being married, so he had to leave and uh, when Prabhat was born, there was none in the uh, family except my mother and the neighbors. Basically, neighbors helped a lot. He, he was born in a very uh, a small, I mean, village type of place, Guria Koti. This was in uh, Chapra district at that time, now in Sivan district of Bihar. A very, very small place, very small place. There was not much facility, but because of the uh, Neighbor, uh, there was a very good uh, comedy among the villagers and they helped us. And what happened was just after Prabhat Ranjan, uh, only about a year or so, my other uh, brother was born. So Ranjan was kept in the custody of my grandmother and he be they, become very, they became very close. And I, 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 if I recall correctly, Ranjan had a great impact of my grandmother's interactions. And I will tell you a very small uh, trick that she used to do, uh, play with the uh, with Prabhat. She used to recite a poem, a poem like, uh, I will tell you, this, this is in uh, Mathali. Tutal phatal ghar chale, oe me chale bheep, haam ranjan sutal chaliye, machar gabe geet, tan atan uthe geet. And Ranjan had to replace it from his side. I mean, he has to recite the same poem in his, his side. And a very young child of, say, two years, 
he used to recite it very correctly and he used to say tutal phatal ghar chale oi me chale bhit hom ma sutal chaliye machhar gaave git tan tan uthe git this is a very small thing but playing with such kind of things i don't know whether this led to the creativity that uh, later he developed but uh, this is a small thing that i recall i also recall when i we were in betia betia uh ranjan already told that uh, it's in champaran district at that time and champaran was the famous area where gandhi ji started his satyagraha movement i i recall a very uh, important incident about what we did it together at that time we learned somewhere that if you keep this uh, the west uh, food inside the mud it will become gold so on a sona ho jata hai ye hum log i mean this will so we said we said that let's try it and ranjan also joined us there was another uh, uh, cousin brother bipin balab das he he in fact he led the team and we all went there aur ghar ka jitna hum log anaj le gaye the le ja kar ke hum logon ne mitti ke insert dal diya and we waited uh, waited and we went every day there to see that it become it turns into a gold, gold. we never found any gold there but uh, that was the first ex experimental failure of <laughs> what, what we happened he, he has nicely told about the two schools that he had about uh, what he started from a very very low school called it was called gidrahi school i mean gidrahi gidra gidar means uh, small children you know it's not that gidrahi uh, is something else is children of a small school but, uh, which was locally called gidrahi school and uh, uh, a very it was uh, located in a, um, a small room but uh, since it was located just next to our house that's why he was uh, he was uh, he went there the, later we we in fact uh, we learned together in the school and uh, nawada Uh, it's called practice school of das madhyamik vidyalaya at nawada uh, where you, we used to carry our uh, mat with us and uh, uh, and uh, learned there only and there after we went to netahat we went uh, he he followed me to netahat and the best part was he topped the list of netahat uh, uh, when he, he in the admission test i i had a, a very interesting memory of uh, netahat school and i would like to say some of them one is i mean for, right from beginning ranjan was very good in mathematics and he used to small do small small experiments that uh, that he, he was very good but let me tell you when he was he went to netahat in the first year he was not i mean he did not fare good in uh, mathematics i have brought his and this is nice to see how i mean how a mathematician bond letter into him i i will just say you his uh, this is his just see this is his progress report from natahat school first year i will ask the coordinator to probably place it on this no no the, the, this will be this will look better this is I don't know whether I'm able to show you show you properly. Not very clear, but yes, Not very clear. Surprised. Anyway, so, but this the, the the fact I would like to tell you is he did not do good in the first year. I also didn't do do good there. What happened was both Prabhat and myself we were uh, we were the one of the young, youngest in the class. and the teacher who used to teach us he he insisted that the mathematics i mean uh, arithmetic should be solved in a particular way arithmetic should algebra should not be used in so, uh, while solving uh, math uh, arithmetic and there we felt we could have solved the problem but uh, we we, we uh, did not suit him that's why he did not give good marks to us and we do not fare well but when it came to second year or third year later the same teacher used to appreciate prabhat and prabhat uh, then become um, i mean uh, he was loved by everybody i will also like to say a, a very interesting thing which i have brought here i will show you this is 
and this i would like to so you i don't know whether you can uh, read it or not this is what he took in this in the winter vacation home i mean and there are two books mentioned here one book is a book of naughty children he took it from library a book of naughty children and the second book he took was assi din mein duniya ki sair and the third thing he took was subodh sanskrit vyakaran i mean he, he took three books but the interesting part was this assi din mein duniya ke sair vastav mein i mean he could uh, uh, move around the world uh, i mean i have uh, he has seen um, uh, all over the world or that might have helped him assi din mein duniya ki sair oh, i don't know whether he took that uh, naughty children <laughs> to become a naughty or not to become naughty i have never seen him to be a naughty child uh, ne never never he was a simple and uh, uh, very devoted child never never broke discipline anywhere so that, that another uh, thing i would like to tell you about uh, his life in natahat there are two things i will apart from the mathematics the, he he was very committed to mathematics in uh, in the library we'll go he will read vedic mathematics and this is what uh, children have to learn i mean from him he will go beyond the classroom activities learn what is the best in the area and do it your uh, do it himself there was there was none to follow him in vedic mathematics but he will learn it he will learn it for himself he will learn it for pleasure number one another uh, point was uh, there was one friend of him uh in his hostel as uh, srinivas singh he told me a very uh, nice story he said that he had to he was uh, he wanted to wake up in the morning at 4 am and he was not able to do so so Pra what prabhat did was he made a simple device for him which will strike him exactly at 4 and he will get up <laughs> because of that strike maybe he might have might have hurt him but uh, he, he never uh, complained I mean, the, the, that was the different device he wanted and it was delivered and this uh, he continued he has his country he is able to help through technology to everybody another uh, fact i would like to um, uh, bring to your notice is the the his uh, interest in photography my father had purchased uh, one uh, camera called uh, that was debonair Uh, he, it was uh, it was it, it valued uh, roughly seven rupees you know, at right. that time, and uh, huh. so, so uh, it was a very good camera. It had, uh, in fact, uh, at that time, thirty-six uh, um, snaps could be taken from that camera in one read, and we started our journey from that. Ranjan also, I mean, we Ranjan and uh, myself both uh, used to play with photography. and uh, the best part was rajan used to do the printing also and in printing he will make lot of innovations he will uh, i mean we, we used to i mean at, at that time there was no digital camera at that time there was um, nothing no uh, uh, the we we had to go to the lab photo uh, lab and photo printing lab and we used to do the printing and in printing we used to make lot of designs and uh, through that designs the print to demers or uh, will experiment with uh, chemicals and things like that so my, i suppose that the experimentation part of prabhat must have come through i mean must have fructified through that uh, um, uh, experiments with photography and this this uh, passion for photography rose so much that in all the at that time photographer um, there were not much commercial photographers so even in marriages ranjan would go and uh, do the photography and after photography we used to go to delhi university delhi university lab and uh, even in university lab we used to the do the um, um, print the photographs and then send it to the concerned people so this photography had be hobby definitely might have helped him in, in his uh, the course of creative journey S similarly I, i would like to tell you about a uh, lot of uh, photographic adventures once i recall he he made me still i kept still and then he tried uh, 
I, I think uh, be aperture photography or something where uh, the aperture will be, will be totally open and you have to keep uh, idle and uh, like a statue and the photograph would be taken. The, these kind of experiments, he continued a lot with photography and it helped us a lot. In fact, wherever there was a problem of electricity, he would be the first to volunteer in the house to go and solve it. So when he uh, passed out from uh, matriculation, he, um, uh, he tried uh, science challenge search exams and he qual qualified there. Thereafter, even the first year, in 11th only, he qualified in IIT and uh, in IIT also. But uh, I will tell you about a very nice thing about uh, his passions and commitment. And th this is regarding his commitment for physics and passion for physics. When he went to IIT, he was advised by the counselor to join engineering because IIT is mainly is known for engineering and people go there only to join uh, engineering and technology. But uh, he decided, he, he said that I would like to read physics. But the, uh, the professor advised him that you should join um, uh, engineering. Later on, you can change to physics. But once you join physics, you cannot come back to engineering. So, both, uh, so most reluctantly, he uh, agreed that he should join electrical engineering. And uh, he was uh, admitted into electrical engineering. And uh, he came back. My father was there. He came back with uh, my father to Dhanbad. And uh, my father used to recite that on the way, he never spoke. He was quite tense. And uh, after some days, he went back to join the university, the um, IIT. And the first thing he did was, uh, did, um, did after joining the, uh, the uh, joining IIT, was to change the course and join physics again. This is his commitment for physics. And this commitment and this passion continued. After BSc, he decided to join Delhi University because in, uh, at MSc level, Delhi University was, uh, I mean, the teaching in Delhi University was much better. And I was also in Delhi University at that time. So he, he, he joined there and uh, he never decided to go for UPSC or any other exam. He said that I would like to be a scientist. I will go for science, go for physics. And uh, he stuck to he stick to his uh, own uh, uh, passion and commitment. And he read physics. So this, in fact, his commitment towards the cause of science and physics is absolutely fantastic. And uh, it's worth emulating. When he went to US, I would like to, I don't know whether he to, has told you about uh, the story about uh, this or not. Uh, there was some later, later. Uh, you, you will tell later. Anyway, but I will tell you, because since I have mentioned it, I will tell you some of the things that we, we recall. Um, he will tell you much more about uh, uh, there. But uh, we recall a very interesting thing. He Once he wrote a letter to us in Mathili, the first letter in Mathili, we used to, at that time, uh, we were told to write in English because I, our, our English will improve. So, uh, but he wrote a letter in Mathili from US, printed on a computer. That language probably he wrote himself um, on a IBM yeah, or font. The font I designed myself. Uh, font was designed font. by him. And, myself. Right. Right, and, and that was great. And that was a big surprise to us. We had never seen the printed thing, and that too was coming from his. Uh, like, th thereafter, I mean, if you analyze Ranjan's uh, view, I mean, Ranjan's uh, life, uh, uh, it, it can be divided into three, four parts. Very clearly, three, four parts. One is, was his childhood and uh, school and college. And thereafter, when he passed out from US, just after receiving the degree, he left US and he came back to India and never back, went outside again, abroad again. This commitment for the country is really uh, worth emulating. I mean, this, this must be, I mean, every children must know. The, nowadays, children want that they should uh, get a degree from uh, India go back to 
any uh, anywhere abroad and work there earn a lot but they never never come back they must look to the profile of prabhat and uh, they, they can see that even if they come back to india they can do wonders and the, the, so his life after coming to india changed and then his life journey about science and uh, commitment towards uh, scientific world i think he will speak more about that i i would say uh, skip that i would like to tell you something more about his science activism or application of science towards people and because there we are concerned a lot and his social commitments he was in sahai institute he was in ipr thereafter he joined dhirubhai ambani institute, um, um, institute. thereafter he, he joined there i um, mean in, in uh, taifac but while remaining in taifac and other things he he developed lot of good things which he would apply to people at large and this is unique this i have never seen in any person that he is developing tools and technology to suit the needs of ailing population and he, he I, i think he will in the due course of journey he will tell you about all the uh, the innovations and applications but normally people in science they would write papers they would publish in scientific journal he never went out after that but he would design something which will help humanity to grow i mean uh, uh, the, for uh, removing their sufferings mainly for that and the best part was it's not that he will call the ailing person to his house or his place he will go to the ailing person's house this is absolutely phenomenal this i have never seen in my life i uh, i'm also more than 60 now i mean city uh, four or so but uh, i have never seen a person who will go after looking after the patients at their home maybe in chennai maybe in allahabad maybe in mumbai maybe in delhi maybe in kolkata anywhere he will go to him and he will develop a technology for his uh, to suit the needs of the person this is absolutely phenomenal and i think uh, people in science and uh, should particularly note that the science does not end with writing papers the basic aim of science is to serve humanity both science and technology it should serve humanity and uh, ranjan is a real model of such a problem and uh, let me tell you a, a, a one of you few things about his uh, commitment towards social purpose he ha- he is managing lot of things on social front we we come from the same school and he has been able to net the uh, old boys network he used to maintain a website from them and whenever we had any problem in the school he would be there to help them out the first computer lab in the school was set up by him he raised the funds and the, the, the uh, this also i would like to emphasize whenever he tries to help anybody he don't charge anything from him but he would even even try to raise funds for uh, uh, for, for the person for the uh, for the development of technology and that would be given free to him i will give i will uh, uh, tell you about one thing uh, which i recall there was a person there he, he was uh, from bihar and uh, he, he 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 didn't have any limb he, he had lost four limbs in fact uh, the four limbs didn't grow in him he could only just pick up some things and he wanted a tricycle um, uh, a tricycle uh, uh, a motorized tricycle and uh, there was a problem of raising funds so prabhat 
raised a campaign for raising funds, got the funds uh, funds for him, and he was given a tricycle, and he is moving in that tricycle. So this is really, uh, and one should learn from Prabhat's life that he will be there to stand by all the ailing people and all the uh, person who need help. And whatever help you will uh, seek, uh, he will be there to help you. So with these words, I wish him again a, a very, very happy birthday and hope that this will uh, this journey will continue for long and God will bless him with, with long life and uh, uh, we'll all like to hear from him and from uh, the society will probably be enriched by his uh, uh, contributions to society. So it's very difficult to sum up his life. So, so I mean, and uh, if you leave me, probably for five days, uh, I, I would be talking on this, but uh, I will stop there and wish him really good luck and good life. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Isha, before we go to next, I just recollected something as Vijay mentioned about my relationship with my grandmother. I remember two incidents. One incident, I think it was around maybe two years and I was in village. And my grandmother was cooking um, rice and it was a village house, mud house. I was sitting on the kitchen platform and uh, something happened and that rice pot overturned and the boiling water you know fell over the floor and i also fell into that suddenly i had a burn which was a single blister that was covering my most of my leg one part of the leg and i remember that scene came back to my mind and uh, i had to learn to walk again i used to hold the you know uh, walls and learn to walk again that incident came back to me there's another incident <clears throat> that's quite interesting <coughs> my grandmother told me <coughs> I was very sick with a lot of diarrhea kind of thing <coughs> and uh, she uh, almost uh, she was making dal puri dal puri you know, uh, and uh, I was very young maybe two, two and a half years old and I insisted on having dal puri and my grandmother thought to herself that this fellow is going to die anyway so let him have his uh, dal puri. Um, but surprisingly, I had my dal puri and I, I became uh, perfectly okay. I was uh, healthy after that. These two instances came back to me. Of course, my, with my grandmother, I had very close relationship, as we just mentioned. But then let's move on to the next uh, part of the US. Yeah. Thank you, Isha. Thank you, Isha. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to invite Mr. Mihi Ranjan, younger brother of our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir. He is the Commissioner in Goa Customs Department. Uh, very, very happy birthday, Bacha Bhai. And we Thank you. Thank uh, you. Call him at Bacha, Bacha Bhai. And uh, already. Vijay Prakash ji has said so many things about him, but I will concentrate more, mostly on his childhood uh, uh, and his nature. He was quite simple and he was a different kind of uh, child. Uh, though uh, but there is, uh, I'm only one year uh, younger to him, but uh, I was more in play and he never used to like play. Wherever he used to like play was either in playing cards or chess or bridge. Wherever brain is used, he will, but wherever physical activity was there, he will never take part into it. But when, uh, because as a child, we used to play and uh, in his determination, which he has proved later on, was quite visible from his childhood only. Because I remember uh, we were playing that uh, ice spice where uh, we, 
head up ourselves and we were playing and he was searching for a unique place to hide so once i don't know whether he remembers it or not but he climbed on a tree and so everybody looked for him at the respective place where normally people hide themselves but we could not find him when it became dark then he came down and he said ki nobody could could find me i was i was on the this thing i uh, i was on the tree so uh, uh, and uh, even uh, uh, he was very good in his studies but uh, he was as i said he was introvert so we never thought that uh, he will interact with the people uh, like he had i don't remember he had any friend of his most of his classmates were my friend and uh, when he appeared for the netar hat examination entrance test he qualified for the written examination and uh, because of his introvert nature we were not sure that whether he will do very well in the interview but i remember when he went for the interview and at that time i think he was uh, 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 the interviewer showed him a paperweight and asked him ki what is this then he said it is a paperweight and what is the use of paperweight then he said ki it is just to uh, uh, keep the uh, on the uh, paper but he asked whether you can use it differently also so he immediately said that yes we can use it as a stopper in the door or window and then he said ki you can think something else then he said yes it can be used if you have a fight with a, a other person you can throw it and make it use of this thing and uh, it was an excellent interview and that's why the reason that he topped in the bihar in the in entire test and i still uh, very well remember my father when he saw the result in the newspaper and uh, the school was nearby uh, his office was nearby only i think uh, uh, 600 700 meter he came running and we were playing in the field and he just showed the newspaper and said ki ranjan has ranjan ne to top kiya hai and uh, no, he was so happy and there was actually he was confused there were he was not sure what was my roll number and so there were two <laughs> positions and so he wanted to first verify but the interesting thing was that he uh, there was a uh, as mira was saying there was a girls hostel uh, girls school right in front of our house and the field was open my father would never cross that field uh and see he would normally come by the road that was the first day he was walking or running across the field i think and then he asked me to go and get the entrance uh, you know the admit card to check the roll number and then i think we checked it and uh, he found that we have topped uh, i have topped in that particular test in the whole state and um when he went to netherhat in fact both both my brothers they are my teachers also i always look upon them to to help me but uh, both of them were different different uh, kind of teacher uh, uh, vijay prakash ji whenever i used to go with him for some math he will tell ki you can solve this with four types four method and whenever i used to go to pravat ranjan ji he will say ki no uh, you are not applying your brain you apply your brain <laughs> and try to find out uh, the problem yourself you, you are not so at that time i always used to think that uh, he will not he will he can make a very good scientist but he will never be uh, he, he cannot make a good teacher but uh, <laughs> later on and now i have uh, heard him on several occasions and i have found that he has proved me wrong <laughs> and he he is he is very clear in his uh, uh, views and he is very uh, he can explain his things very nicely another thing was that he he was a born scientist 
in the childhood also if anybody will ask him what will you like to become he will use to he used to say he will become scientist and i remember uh when he was in netherhart he came once uh, to uh, our uh, dhanwad house where we had a phone so and he found one old radio and he connected that radio with the uh, 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 with the phone and we all as a kid were singing doing lot of things and i remember one of our uh, neighbor auntie she came and she said ki what you people are doing is she was so amused she said ki i will also sing ravindra sangeet on this and uh, she sang a song on this thing and she blessed him and said ki you will become a great scientist <laughs> and uh, i i will just say that uh, you see he has uh, he has proved himself wherever he was and he was of such a strong uh, uh, person of a strong determination that whatever he thought he achieved that and that uh, he, i i am lucky to be with him when he came uh, from uh, us to calcutta then i was with him in uh, uh, delhi also and now i am nearby only i am in goa but uh, yes i can say uh, from childhood he has gone far away and he has miles to go and uh, i think he has lot to do for the nation and the uh, world and for the humanity also i think because he has done so many things and all the best to him and wish you a great uh, wish you all the success in your life that will be beneficial to all of us thank, thank you thank you papa of course me there skipped many things which uh, he would have liked to tell but he has <laughs> stopped telling a lot of fights that we used to have <laughs> all right isa please go ahead we have a short video of shri kalicharan deo gharia sir i would like to ask ma'am to play it मैं कालीचरण देवघरिया अवकाश प्राप्त अध्यापक नेतर हाट आवासीय विद्यालय बोल रहा हूँ प्रभात रंजन मेरा प्रिय छात्र था वह मेधावी एवं सुशील छात्र था छात्र जीवन में जब कभी वह किसी प्रतियोगिता परीक्षा में भाग लेकर वापस लौटता था मैं पूछता था परीक्षा कैसी हुई उसका उत्तर होता था अवश्य होगा श्रमा जी नहीं होने का प्रश्न ही नहीं है वह सदा अच्छे अंकों से उत्तीर्ण होता था चाहे वह आईआईटी की परीक्षा हो अथवा विज्ञान प्रतिभा खोज की परीक्षा हो मुझे यह जानकर प्रसन्नता हुई कि वह साठवा वर्ष गांठ मना रहा है मेरी ओर से शुभ कामना एवं आशीर्वाद है ईश्वर उसे दीर्घायु करें जिससे वह देश और समाज की सेवा करता रहे just to tell the viewers uh when i was in my boarding school we used to live in ashram my ashram's name was dalanda ashram devgariya ji as we call him we used to call him siman ji and his wife mata ji his family so we used to live in ashram with about 20 students and there used to be one teacher and family living with us so devgariya ji used to and his family used to live with us it was like another uh, you know 
parent for me. And for six years that I was in that ashram, he was he was the only one uh, who was there. And uh, even now uh, we are in touch. He is uh, between 85 to 90 years of age, but he's in very good health and we wish him good health. And I'm finding that he has remembered many incidents, some that he has not told. I will just tell one incident and probably we can wind up the day. So he, he said that long back, maybe when I was uh, 11, 12 years of age, I used to solve a lot of difficult mathematics problem. I used to you know, live in mathematics to some extent. And we had another school senior who was a math genius, Dr. Vasish Narayan Singh, who we, unfortunately we lost him a few months back. And I was given Padmasri after that. He's quite well known for many of his exploits. He, Dr. Vasish Narayan Singh, uh, actually we shared both his school as well as uh, both of us did PhD at birthday. Of course, he was senior to me. And then he lost, he has a mental health problem, he had a schizophrenia. So my principal used to be worried that I might also uh, you know, go along that line. And so he used to tell Devariya Ji that please keep a track on this boy, that he does not uh, go in that line. I never knew this. Only four or five years back, Srimanji told me. And every time I go to Ranchi, I try to meet him. So thank you, Srimanji, for this, your blessings. Thank you so much. With this, I would like to conclude today's program. I would like to thank all the guests for joining us today. We will be meeting tomorrow at 8. So once again, I would like to wish our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, a very happy birthday. Thank, thank you, Isha. Just last word, I would like to say that yes. this is our first attempt by my students of uh, journalism and mass communication. And all of them are living at different places in the country in difficult situations. Somebody has bandwidth problem, somebody has equipment problem, but they've all come forward and uh, try to make this a success. This particular thing will continue. Uh, the event that we are doing now for six days after that, we'll continue to do broadcast on continuous basis to be used for scientific purposes, academic purposes, as well as the entertainment purpose, and we'll all managed by students. So this is also the inauguration of the IPIU uh, infotainment channel. And we hope that uh, students will do a good job. It will be a great learning experience for them. I'm sure that all of them are learning because only by doing practice, you become perfect. So uh, congratulations to all the students. Uh, some of them, Isha, you've seen, others you'll be seeing in coming days. Thank you so much and good night to all of you. Thank you, sir. Meet.